Good morning, folks. This is Morally Eventa Global Bendemia. We're going to have a quick, a few part series of first aid, talking about causes, signs and symptoms, and first aid. More importantly, basics of first aid, which is a safe life, learning CPR, AED, and calling the right number 995 and putting on speaker mode now. The paramedic dispatch will assist you until the ambulance comes, if it is an emergency. And remember to prevent further complication, you've got to stop bleeding, do CPR effectively, ensuring vital organs reach the blood with oxygen to get him out of hospital walking without any sensory loss. Also remember, Civil Defense came up with a fantastic idea called My Responder App. Download it now because within 400 meters, if there is a 995 activation for an ambulance, your phone will blink and go forward and help. Especially after learning first aid, you will have more confidence because when you do help on a CPR situation, you will make yourself more confident. Remember, 70% of the cases of cardiac arrest happen at home. That's why HTV Block has got AED, where you can go forward and help your neighbor. You will never know when your loved one or your colleagues or your best friend collapse. Immediately, if you do CPR activating ambulance and use AED as soon. The chances of revival is more than 50%. Remember it. You can save someone. Okay. Listen to the next few series of a quick revision while I do a jogging, morning jogging. Remember, first aid, we pedal health. Not only we teach you how to do first aid, we also tell you about prevention. How to live metabolic disease free up to 90 to 100. You will know such secret. Okay. Attend a first aid course. Enjoy the next few sessions. Thank you. Good morning, this is Morali, your humble first aid trainer, Eventa Global. Today, quick talk on first aid. Okay, number one, fainting. Fainting is a common situation that we encounter. It is a drop of blood pressure and it could be due to pain, standing too long, too morning, miss a meal, too crowded area or unwell. Simple first aid, just lie them down, raise the leg, or if you're seated, put the head down, use gravity to push blood from the leg back to the heart, lungs, and brain. They should recover brief. Don't forget to ask any medical history or any injury like concussion. If they do, then the first aid is to send the hospital. If not, fainting is a temporary shock. The signs and symptoms will be pale face, cold sweat. Maybe nausea and vomiting for some. Second case, fits. Fits is a brain issue. Maybe it's an old injury or during injury. Or it could be worse like a stroke or cardiac arrest. There's a cut of oxygen where they go into convulsion, which means they are contracting, relaxing, sometimes clenching their teeth as well, frothing. First aid, never put anything in the mouth. Allow the feet, don't restrain them, prevent injury. Once feet stop, importantly check breathing. Breathing person, turn to recovery, call ambulance, send them to the hospital. The doctor need to check why this happened. Diabetes. Diabetes is a condition where the insulin has been affected. They could experience fainting symptoms like blurring of vision, and stremor, giddiness, and even can turn unconscious. Signs and symptoms, they're always thirsty when the sugar level is high, they drink a lot of water, go to the toilet often. Low sugar, they go into fainting symptoms fast. So whenever you treat someone like that, when they're still conscious, ask to question. Have they taken their breakfast, or meal, or medicine? Give them some sugar drinks they always carry in their pocket. Within five minutes, it works good. If not, send them to the hospital. 